I'm Gloria, coordinator with the City of Brampton, and I'm happy to take you along the virtual tour of your Springdale neighborhood. Here are some interesting details about the neighborhood, including who your local area councillors are. I will help you explore five neighborhood gems along the tour, and I will be joined by other program partners and staff who will share some interesting but helpful information about your neighborhood. At stop one of our tour, we're joined by Gage to learn more about Batsman Park. Hello, my name is Gage and I am a coordinator with the City of Brampton's Tourism Office. I am out here in the beautiful Bassman Park, located just north of Bramley Road and Sandalwood Parkway. This community park officially opened in 2013 and was named after the Bassman position in the sport of cricket. Cricket is a very popular sport in Brampton and continues to grow in popularity amongst all age groups. The park features something fun for everyone. There's approximately 23 acres of woodlot, four senior soccer fields, two cricket pitches with synthetic wicket surfaces, junior and senior playgrounds, and a three half court basketball courts with even a splash pad. This is a great location to get out with friends or family for a day of physical activities, practice your cricket batting or bowling, or cool off at the splash pad. Thank you for joining me at Baston Park and enjoy the rest of your walk. Our public spaces like Wiggins Park are common gathering areas for youth and seniors and often bring nature closer to us. While on your tour, I encourage you to think what you can do to improve the environment and address climate change. Some ways to help a local habitat flourish or reduce your carbon footprint include planting a tree, growing a bee-friendly garden, riding your bike for shorter trips, taking transit more often, or consider purchasing an electric vehicle. Let's keep moving. Brampton Transit plays an integral part in keeping our city connected. And did you know they recently went green in a big way? Let's hear more from our friends over in transit. Hi, my name is Patrick Walker and I'm an acting training coordinator with Brampton Transit. On Route 23 Sandalwood, this bus will run from Mount Pleasant Square Village all the way to Queen and Highway 50. I have some electrifying news to share with you. Starting on June 28th, we begin featuring electric buses on this route like the bus behind me right here. Brampton is participating in a milestone electric bus trial project. This project is the largest single global deployment of standardized and fully interoperable battery electric buses and high power overhead on route charging systems, including eight electric buses and four overhead charge stations located at Mount Pleasant Square Village and Sandalwood Garage and also at Queen and Highway 50. We have Quiet buses, check. Zero tailpipe emissions, check. Saving approximately 235 tons of CO2 per year, check. A cool new branding and design, check and check. Look out for these buses in your neighborhood. Schools are often viewed as community hubs, a safe space that brings people together where residents can access a range of services, programs, and activities. Feeling safe in our neighborhoods is important to everyone, and I'm thankful our program has a partner like Peel Regional Police, who work to help make our communities a safer place. Their true crime prevention team is armed with numerous tips to help keep you and your loved ones safe. They can present to schools, businesses, places of worship, or community events to help educate you and other community members. Visit peelpolice.ca slash crime prevention to learn more. Hi, I'm Vince, a senior project manager of the Community Stewardship Program with the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority, a proud partner of Nurturing Neighbourhoods Program. We are standing here in front of the Batsman Woodlot, a project between the City of Brampton Parks Division, TRCA, and local schools like Louise Arbor Secondary School. Since 2018, staff have been working with local students and community members on this multi-year project to help restore this hidden gem. The woodlot was comprised of 40% native white ash, as well as invasive European buckthorn plants. The emerald ash borer is an invasive pest that targets native ash trees and prevents trees from transporting nutrients and water in their vascular systems under the bark, eventually resulting in trees drying. The primary focus is to restore the woodlot by removing invasive species, planting native shrubs and trees, providing habitat for wildlife, and providing an exciting educational experience for local schools in the community. The dead trees were removed this past year due to safety concerns and we now have an opportunity to replant and restore the Batsman Woodlot. Protecting your properties, businesses and the surrounding infrastructure will always be a priority of TRCA. To learn more about TRCA, the work we provide throughout the GTA and for project specific information, please visit 
trca.ca. This brings us to the end of your Springdale virtual tour. Thanks for joining alongside. I wanted to thank our program partners who helped support your virtual tour. Did you have a favorite spot along the route? Maybe there was something I should have featured. Let me know by going online and pinning your Springdale hidden gem on our online mapping tool so fellow neighbors know what to check out. While you're online, you can also complete your neighborhood survey so we can learn more about you. For example, how do you get around your neighborhood? How do you interact with other neighbors? If you're aware of any community groups and how safe you feel to name a few. You can also download your walking route map to see how your metrics compared to mine. Visit Brampton.ca slash neighborhoods to get involved today. Thanks for watching.